come and join us for today's video where we take you off out into the British countryside of the South Downs National Park for another adventure with my talking bull mastiff, Cali. First thing in the morning in the South Downs National Park, just as the sun is rising, so is all the wildlife. But sure enough, just like Cali, whether they're sheep, swans, or even squirrels, they all want their breakfast. And if you're really lucky, just after sunrise, you might even catch the wild deers having a morning swim with the white eagles. Sorry, Callie, what are you saying? That bloody neighbour does with his flipping cock outside in the mornings. Really getting on my bits, it is. Oh, Callie, you do have a way with your words, you know. Well, yes, I am a talking dog, you know, Dad. Anyways, shall we get into today's adventures? Yeah, come on then, let's go. Plus, where are we going today then, Dad? Well, because you've come on so well with your training, I thought I'd take you for a little surprise today to meet some new friends. New friends? Oh, I love meeting new friends. I'm so excited. Is it Sid the Squirrel's dad? No, it's not Sid the Squirrel. What about Luke's the Lamb? Is it Luke's the Lamb? No, it's not Luke the Lamb. It's someone completely new what you haven't met before. It's not that flaming cock, is it, Dad? Because if it is, I'll bloody gobble him up. Bruh. No, Callie, it's not the cock hall from next door. Spells, we're going through the bluebells, so it must be some sort of animals up near the woods. Fools, fools, I know exactly who it is. It's Damien's the baby deer, isn't it, Dad? No, it's not, but I did tell them that you're going to be coming to see them this morning, and you're going to tell them a story. Because you like telling stories, don't you, Cal? Oh, yeah, I do. I loves a good story, Daddy. But well, we've nearly there yet, Dad, because it feels like we've been walking pages. Yes, Cal, we're nearly there, just the other side of this field, and there's a gate, and then I'll call them over. Cool. <laughs> Smells like... Cow poo. Is it the cows, Daddy? Am I going to meet the cows today? Yes, Cal, you are, because I think you can behave yourself well enough now to not scare me. Go on then, Dad, do that move thing you do and call the movers. Hello, Mr. Cal. My name's Kelly, and Daddy said to me that we could be friends. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Okay, everybody's. I think we're all ready now. If you all come get around, but before I start, um, oh, I'm just going to sniff this bit of grass here because it smells like cow poo. <laughs> oh, sorry, everybody. I got a bit carried away then. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, that was it. I'm going to start by telling you a story. Right, today's story is all about sticking together and being best friends. Because I like making friends. Oh, friends! Yeah, friends, that's what I said. Anyway, let's get into today's story. Once upon a time, there was four cows. One was called E, the other one was called Norma, the other one was called Stick, huh? and the last one was called Semi. Oh, I get it. E Norma Stick. <laughs> Brilliant, Kelly. Brilliant. Bruh. So, the four cows lived in a big field right on the edge of the jungle. And the cows, they were all very, very good friends and they all stuck by each other through good times and bad times. And whenever a big nasty lion would come to attack them, the four cows would always stand up for each other and fight together to chase the nasty lion away. Therefore, no animal in the jungle dared to ever attack the cows. But the nasty lion, he got really, really hungry and wanted to eat the cows. So he knew he couldn't do it all the time the cows stuck together. So what he did, he come up with a devious plan. And he started spreading rumours 
all about the cows all around the jungle and with help from some of the other animals in the jungle gossiping the lion was soon able to pitch the cows against each other and a huge rift was created between the cows when they didn't like each other the big mean lion was very happy that his plan was starting to work and after some days the lion come in and it attacked Semi when Semi was on his own and the other three cows they didn't come to help their friend even after watching Semi get eaten by the big nasty lion. The next morning Enormous Stick woke up to find that the lion was trying to catch E and Enormous Stick didn't want to have anything to do with it. They stood there and they watched E get eaten alive by the lion. After that, Norma and Stick seemed to realise that maybe it was the lion spreading the rumours. So Norma and Stick stuck together forever after that and become best friends. And then they realised that if anybody ever spread any rumours about Norma Stick, then they would tell each other. And that way they made best friends for life and they were much safer because the big nasty lion could come and eat them. So the moral of the story is, make sure if anybody's saying anything about you, you know where it's come from and always stay best friends because we're all stronger together. And always think about Enorma and Stick. Right Dad, come on then, let's go home.